Today we will do another experiment related to sonometer where we will try to find the relationship between the length of a given wire and the tension for a constant frequency. The apparatus required a sonometer, a given tuning fork of known frequency 0.5 kg and 0.5 kg slotted weights, rubber pad, paper rider, bridges or wedges. The root of tension produced along the string by the wavelength will be a constant. Take a tuning fork of 480 Hz, strike it against the rubber pad and slightly adjust the wedges decrease the gap between the bridges. So you can see now here at this particular distances the rider has fallen down because it has coincided with the resonating length of the string. Now this was done for a tension or a load of 1 kilogram suspended along the pulley. So to find the tension we have to multiply the load here it is total of 1 kilogram multiplied by 9.8 so the tension for this particular case and this resonating length will be 9.8. So you can calculate the distance between the wedges it is 41.2 and here you can see it is uh, 51.1 so the difference between them will be 9.9 .9. so when you had decreased the length between the wedges the resonating length was found to be around 9.9 .9 centimeter for a tension of 9.8 which means for a load of 1 kilogram keep the wedges closer Repeat the same procedure. Now strike the tuning fork against the rubber pod and place it against the sonometer board and try to find the resonating length by increasing the distance between the wedges. So here you can see the rider has fallen down corresponding to the resonating length. So when the distance between the wedges were slightly increased. Try to, try to calculate the distance between the wedges. So here you can see the distance is 41.1 and here it is approximately 50.8 so the distance between the wedges is 10.7 which will give the resonating length you have to increase the load by adding half a kilogram again so the total weight now becomes 1.5 kilogram and the tension that is created here will be 1.5 into 9.8 which will give you 14.8 7. Repeat the same procedure by striking the tuning fork of the same frequency of 480 hertz against the rubber pad and then place it on the board of the sonometer and decrease the distance between the wedges and find the resonating length. So this gives the resonating length here. Calculate the distance between the wedges. You can see that it is uh, th approximately 38.3 and 49.3 here. So the distance between the wedges will be 11 cm. So that will be the resonating length for a uh, tension of 14.7. So uh, that's a load of 1.5 kg. Now you 
can see that this is the resonating length for the load of 1.5 kilogram when the distance of the wedges were increased. Observe the distance between the wedges. You can see that here it is approximately 40.9 and here it is 52.2. So the distance between the wedges will be 11.3 centimeter. So that is the resonating length when we use a tuning fork of a frequency 480 hertz and when the load was approximately 1.5 kilograms and the tension produced was 14.7. You can repeat the same procedures by adding the load from 2 to 2.5 and then 3 and find the corresponding resonating lengths keeping the frequency constant and varying the tensions. This experiment is done by using a tuning fork of frequency 480 hertz. So we keep this frequency constant and when a load of 1 kilogram was suspended, so we write here as uh, 1, the tension produced in the string is calculated by multiplying 1 into 9.8 so that will give you 9.8 and the resonating length was found between 41.2 and 51.1 when the length of the wire between the wedges were decreased and the difference between those two readings was 9.9 .9. similarly when the distance between the wedges were increased, the markings found were 41.1 and 50.8 and the difference between these two reading is 9.7 and the mean of these readings 9.9 .9 and 9.7 is 9.8. So when we have to calculate T by L square into 10 to the power 4, so Newton per meter square. So the answer we get here is 0 0.10 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per meter square. So we can write here it as 0 0.10. Into 10 to the power 4. Similarly, when we added again 500 grams to it, so now the load applied becomes 1.5. To calculate the tension again, multiply it by 9.8, so the value becomes 14.7. When the distance between the wedges were decreased, and we found the resonating length. We found that the readings to be between 38.3 and 49.3. The difference between these two readings was 11 centimeter. Similarly, when the distance between the wedges were increased, we found the resonating length and the distance between the wedges were between 40.9 and 52.2 which gives us a difference of 11.3. The mean of these two readings, 11 and 11.3, will be 11.15. When we calculate by substituting these values in the equation t by l square into 10 to the power 4, so we get an approximate answer of 0 
1 1 into 10 to the power 4. Similarly, you can add slotted weights to the load, take a reading for total of 5 set of readings, calculate T by L square for each case and find the mean. You will find that the result T by L square is a constant and thus the law of tension is verified.